Okay, another week begins. Are we up? I thought so. Nobody's there. It's okay. Let's get some work done then if nobody's there. Got a few here this morning. Good morning, to gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Whoever who is here. Go, 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 go. Ah, Twitch ads. I see it's in the way there, is it? It's a very, very chilly morning here in the Saksa today. Got the door closed, I'm sorry for those of you who are listening, wanting to listen to the various street sounds out there, but uh, it's just too chilly to keep the door open, I'm sorry. And our gas came back yesterday. The gas company was here to install a new gas heater. So after one week's outage or 10 days outage or something, whatever it was, we're back able to get an in-house shower this morning instead of going to the public bath in the evenings. And we're on now the last, this is the seventh face of this print, so this will be the last block. I should be able to get it finished this morning. I'm not sure, we've got a whole bunch of stuff this morning. I've got a block here, I've got some, I've got a bunch of stuff to show, I think, talk about. Not sure we'll have time to get through everything here this morning. Jed's not here, he's down in Kyoto that went up on the train. So uh, he's down there sketching and fooling around. And... He'll be back, I think, on a Saturday, I'm not quite sure.
what this is, I should explain maybe what this is. Um, this is the seventh block, but what we had here, let me find one here. We had a base block for the leaves. All the leaves in their full outlines are on the base block. Now the original picture had the green, there's nowhere near even, it's dark, light, miscellaneous, it's, it's light color wash. So what I've done is we're going to go with a base green block, which will be quite a light green. Then on top of that, we've got two other blocks. We've got the block that'll be the dark lilac on the bird, the darkest of the lilac. And it's going to overlap on some places of the green to give a darker tone of the green. We've got two lilacs, a light lilac and a darker lilac. And a darker lilac, for example, is going to go over that part of this leaf. It's going to go over this leaf, but not that area. That's what that was. This is the darker lilac block, and it goes over parts of various leaves. And then I'm doing the same thing with the light lilac. This is the block for the lighter lilac, you know, the back of the bird, the tail, some of the inner feathers. That's this block. And this is going to go on different areas of the leaves. I'll be trying to decide this morning what to do. Maybe it'll go down here, up here, but not there, stuff like this. Again, to reiterate, the finished print is not going to be delicate little washes on every single leaf. It'll be just broken up into flat colors that will have an approximation of the original watercolor painting. Now, we're not making a watercolor painting, we're making a, a woodblock print. Free day. It wasn't really a free day yesterday. The free day I had was last week. I just skipped out from the shop for one day to go with the kids. Yesterday was Tuesday. The shop was nominally closed, but because it's so busy here on the street, we were open. Two of the kids came to help me yesterday, and a Dui-chan and a koi And it actually was a quiet day in the shop. There weren't too many people through. We had a chance to get a ton of work done. I rebuilt part of our software in the back, and the two, the two kids did packing for flea market prints. We opened a bunch of auction stuff and got it out into the shop. So we had a really productive day yesterday, but it was kind of quiet. Very, very, very peaceful. <coughs> very, very, very peaceful. Now this wasn't the day off with the family. That was last, uh, I forget what day it was. I can't remember. Paper of the freezer. Yes, John, it's out. Thank you. Good. Today it's uh, just Sugisan up there. Day chan finished a job the other day, so she'll be starting a new job today. So she doesn't need the paper out of the freezer. But yes, hint appreciated. Thank you. There was a funny one yesterday too. I know Aoyama san was upstairs during the afternoon working on blocks, you know, getting wood blocks glued together. Uh, Kawai san was up there printing. He's working on the Hasui job, the old Hasui post war blocks from the American publisher. And then Koizumiko, one of the guys who works in the shop here, was up there. He finished the shop at 5.30, went upstairs to get his backpack and leave. So I thought they had all left around 5.30 or so, between 5.30 and 6. So I was doing a night shift in the shop by myself, just working on that software update, chatting with a few customers that came in. But around 9 o'clock, those three guys came down from upstairs. They'd been up there all the time, the three of them having a meeting. <laughs> without, uh, without coming down here to have me involved. So they wanted to chat without me around. So, so they're laughing and they came in ready to go home. I'm like, what? You've been up there all the time. What are you doing? What are you doing? And they said, we were talking about the business. I said, without me? <laughs> They're all laughing at it, so, so I don't know. There's a, maybe they're planning a coup or something, who knows. So if I'm not here next week or something, you know, uh, there's, been a, there's been a palace coup. Hong Kong. 
空着的Oh, rats. Speaking of rats, I, I remind, I remembered. I remembered, I remembered. I know we've had not too much rat trouble recently. Remember, we, we've got it all, we think, a little bit shut up again, or they're, or they're just lying low for a while. But a couple of weeks ago, we talked about this. When I was sitting in the room upstairs, one of the rats came up and tried to get out of the window beside me. I took some video. I finally remembered. Last night, I got the video ready. I can show. Should we do it? Who cares about work? <laughs> I have two short video clips showing the actual creatures that we've been calling rats. Mice, rats, whatever. These clips were taken at night time with a little tiny and a point and click camera. These are not wonderful, good 4K video. So they're dark. And there's two short clips. They're about 15 seconds each. And just hold on, you'll see. You'll get a glimpse now of these creatures that we are. Here, I'll pop this first one up. There's two short clips, and it's really dark. I'm sorry, whatever, this is what it was upstairs. It'll come closer, relax. There is one of the creatures in the background there. And here we are. This is the animals that we've been calling rats. And I think that's what it is. That was the first one. And let me replay it, actually. You can see the guy. Got it? Is it going to go back to the beginning? Bingo. And what happened is he ran away for a while. Then a few minutes after that, remember, he's trying to get out the window, which is beside me. A few minutes. <laughs> rats. <laughs> the other one, he came closer. He came up into the room and then tried to run around. Let's have a look at this one. This guy gets a lot closer here. He's hiding behind that stuff on the right-hand side. Hang on a second. Where is it? Just a minute. Hang on. There it comes. It looks like the same as a boot head. Here it comes. Up. There's the two round ears. He's trying to decide what to do. And he comes and he tries to run around to the left behind me. And he can't get out. And a minute later, he ran back out and away. And then the third time he came in, he jumped out the window beside me. But I didn't get that on video. Let's see this again. Hang on a second. Nature documentation. <laughs> but that's why I said these are not the sort of slimy, sleek, you know, I don't know, dirty rats. This guy just looks like a clean little pet. It's like a big hamster or something. And some of the some of the staff saying, "Look, Dave, just don't worry about it. They're just little cute little things." You know? But I don't know. I don't think so. It is gone. So there we have it. Those are the actual domesticated. It already is domestic. We're the ones who domesticated. We're the ones who are domesticated. Anyway, at the moment, as I said, it seems to be, again, we've slipped into a bit of a standoff situation. We have traps all over the place. We have those stick sheets all over the place. And since we put that stuff out, we really haven't heard from these guys, so I don't know what's happening. They've left for a while, or they're laying low. So 
somebody just turns the screen, the stream on for the first time. Japanese football print making. Rat attack. Domesticated. They don't seem too scared of us, you know. Funny thing about them though is even though it clearly has access somehow to the shop area, we still don't know how they get out into the shop. But even though it has access, so presumably when we're all sleeping, we get in and out, we have no, there's no rat, rat shit anywhere. We've never seen any. I mean, are they, surely they're not competent at doing that, keeping themselves clean while they're out in the shop. Maybe if we shit here, he'll discover us. You know, they can't be doing that, are they? We've never ever seen any traces of them out here. As far as the work goes, as I said, this is the seventh and the final block on this print. And I really, really, really have to get going with the uh, test printing. So I'm not sure what's the schedule here. I might be doing that. We've got a full, full party schedule today. And, along, and we've also got a visit today. A major visitor coming today, so I probably won't have time to do this test printing during the day. So it, this might be the content of tomorrow's stream. I might be upstairs in the printer's room working on the proofing of this. I really didn't really want to do that on the stream, so I'm going to be up and down grabbing a brush, finding pigment, washing brushes, all kinds of stuff. But it looks like that might be the schedule. Tomorrow morning's stream might be proofing of this print. I said, it's a guest coming today. It's a good guest. It's a big guest. I'm a salaki a paper maker. You know, our, our, our backup paper maker, the guy who's working with us on getting new paper, he's coming today. He had, a, he had an event in Tokyo. So he's coming around to see us.
what are the pen scribbles? The pen scribbles are, as I said, they're guides. So, so pen scribbles here. I'm just, I've just scribbled with a pen, trying to indicate. Like for example, on this leaf, I think I want to keep the bottom area of it, and I'm going to leave it, take the top off. So I've just scribbled with a pen, and keep, you know, yeah, and keep the top of that leaf, stuff like that. So the pens are just my guide to what I think might be a decent thing to leave and to take off. I'm really not sure. This is all kind of experimental.
Okay, I don't know if it's clear, it's probably not visible over, over the camera, but I'm uh, cutting these shapes. Some of the shapes are just normal cutting. Okay? Just cut along the edge, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. These are not smooth lines, they're wiggled lines. But the bottom of this leaf, these leaves, you know, for example, look, there, there, there's an actual sort of gradation. There's a darker and a lighter and a darker and a lighter. If I cut the bottom of the leaf here sharp, because it's got to go along the bottom edge of that leaf, but then we just want the color. I can't do a gradation on such a small leaf, but what we'll do is this. I'll stick the knife in at a really flat, flush angle. And we're shaving here. Shaving wood off. So when I come around the other side, trim this out of the way so we can see what's going on. the leftover leaf piece now with a sharp edge along the bottom of it and it'll be what we call itabokashi block gradation along the top the pigment will be strong here it'll be nothing there and it'll hopefully fade out a bit along the edge of that it'll be a blurred a blurred and broken impression along the edge which is what we want And sharp again on the stem. It's not part of ukiyo-e work at all, but uh, that's not what this print is. I'm not the same on this one. This one here, it's darker on the top and lighter on the bottom. So we'll just do an angle. We'll cut the knife in an angle. Something like here, keeping it wiggly. Get a goal point and a starting point. So I don't know how visible that is. Isn't it? Sharp at the top, beveled at the bottom.
the Jets in Kyoto. So it'll be interesting to see what uh, what he comes back with. Uh, Kyoto now is approaching peak season. It's, uh, Kyoto is more famous for maple leaves and stuff than it is for cherry blossoms, although both are big, both are big. But uh, it's really, really, really crowded. We've seen pictures in the newspapers, and uh, it's so busy there, so busy. They're turning people away from the major temples and stuff, and just you know, letting them in and letting them in in groups of three or four at a time as other people come out. But the, the main idea for Jed wasn't to head for the major tourist places anyway. He, he's going to just look for back streets, look for quiet scenes. Nothing even that specifically says Kyoto, really. He's just looking for generic, interesting scenery. So next year's series, now it's going to be you know, not a tour of the famous places of Japan. It's going to be mostly seasonal. We're really trying to go atmospheric. You know. When we look back at the prints that are the most loved prints, both in the Edo time and in the Shinhanga era, it's the ones, time and time again, you come back to the ones that are atmospheric. There's rain or mist or snow. or It's just something that the genre does very well. So. So that's his mission, to go and find interesting scenes that can be depicted in a beautiful way with this, uh, this woodcut technique. We should have a full sketchbook to show us when he's back here next week. I think he's coming back Saturday or Sunday, I'm not sure. Yeah, the interesting question, you know, Jed's going to, he's only here, he was here last October, and he's here this October, so he's not here in the spring, he's not here in the summer, you know. I think he can handle that, I mean, he knows, you know, the point about visiting a place is to see the place and the composition and the buildings and the angles and stuff. And I think the seasonal part he can, he can add himself, you know. So, I had more snow on maples, yeah, so. And he was adamant, you know, we were talking about this, you know, you're in the wrong season and places you haven't been and how you can get to that. And somebody says, Joe, oh, just Google it and look up the Google images, you know. And he is adamant that uh, he does not want to do this through the use of, you know, Google imagery. And I get it. You know, we've been pushing him for quite a while now, get your sketchbook up and out and draw. 
So it's a whole different approach from just taking a, a Google image and tracing over it and stuff like that. And he brought up an interesting point is that when you do a Google image search for, for anything, any place or whatever, or an Instagram search, and he said it's they're almost now copies of each other. People go to these places and they take exactly the same photograph. So you can go to an Instagram search for Sensoji Templar, whatever, and they're absolute clones of each other. They're taken with the same camera, the same phone, from the same place, at the same angle, at the same time of day. And so when you're out there sketching, you're walking around, strolling around, you're working with a pencil. His point was that it's quite different than just lifting up your smartphone and shooting it. You know? I guess I get it. That's what we said. You know, Don't just... Uh, Get, get off your computer, you know, get out here and draw. So that's why he's here. And if he's here at the wrong season, it doesn't, doesn't much matter. That part you can add yourself. That series next year, you know, I'm terrified that we're not going to be able to keep on schedule. They're just too, uh, they're too experimental, they're too complex. We're going to keep it light, we can't do 50 blocks per print, we're doing, you know, four or so, both sides. But it's still, the test printing is going to be so uh, time consuming. I'm going to have to be all over that series. You know, this year I didn't need to do the actual hands-on test printing myself. The loot series is they're, they're clean and simple images. Once you see Jet's image, you can, you can print it. But these are different. These are layered and layered and layered. And there's no way the printers here can just take Jed's Photoshop file and work with it. You know, I'm going to have to sit with them and do tons of test printing on each one. You know, we have to find the woodblock print that's hidden in the uh, in the imagery. It's going to be a ton of fun, but on a monthly schedule, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, here he is, Cameron Zahn. Good morning, sir. Good, good, quiet stream today. I remembered the rat video thing, so I showed a couple of short rat clips. And oh, I just remembered off, off the end. From a month ago. <laughs> Whatever, I don't even know how long it goes, but they've, they've been in here waiting. And just, uh... Cameron Sands here. The future collaboration with the French artists. So no... Uh, can we talk about that? I'm not sure. Have you talked with them? <coughs> They're doing a New Year's card. Oh, they are? Yeah. I did not know this. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Can we talk about it on the street? Well, yeah. I'm just kidding. You just announced I it. just did. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're busy this particular week. They're just they're going to be in Niigata for one month. Right, they've the been doing exhibition three months. And stuff. So, and the first week of it, they're doing demos and kids' events and stuff like that. That's so cool. she can't do anything for me right now. Yeah, she sent me a couple of sketches, and I picked one and said, "Yay!" And that's nowhere near nothing I can show. And she would be upset if I showed it to you because it's still long, rough, 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 quick rough, sketch. Rough, right. Rough, so, cool. Is it one from the first batch, or did she send a second batch to? The first batch of five. five it's right. from there. From okay. There, cool. So, so, so. Loose lips sink wallets. This is for our New Year's card. It's not something that we <laughs> loose lips sink wallets. Is that a thing? Is that anything? Yeah. Oh, the spoon. I lost it. Where was it? Done here. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. That's okay. Loose lips sink ships, I think it goes. Yeah. But <laughs> morning. Rain in Tokyo today? Not at the moment. I think early in the morning, though. It's been funny, hasn't it? It's been beautiful weather alternating with yeah. drizzly, but beautiful drizzly going like hour by yeah. hour. It's been mm -hmm. fun. Yeah. This customer's had one, look, you got a heavy umbrella this afternoon. And they'll say, what? No <laughs> way. And I say, um, just do what you're told. Take an umbrella. You know, and an hour later, it's pouring rain. <laughs> so. Yeah. Good morning, Bullet Tooth Tony.
very, very quiet yesterday in the shop. We, mm -hmm. we got a ton of work done. It was yeah. so good. Yeah. It was a Tuesday. No one knew we were open because we weren't. No, because we weren't parties. It indicates, too, how, how important the parties are to us, you know, to bring yeah. people in here. Absolutely. Yeah. So, well, we knew that. That's why we did them. But mm -hmm. it does indicate that. And it makes me a tad nervous, you know, once the, the documentary movie on the airplane has settled down and gone into history, you know, because that's bringing in so many yeah. people. And it's been going a whole year. I have no idea when they're going to keep, when they're going to stop. Like, yeah. It's still running on Delta, it seems. It's still after like six months. Yeah. The gift that just keeps on giving. Yeah. We'll get another kick out of it later once it hits Netflix, you know. Yeah. So. But this is just the perfect time. I mean, it's on the airplane for a captive audience. They land a few minutes later in Narita. Yep. And bingo. On their way to their Japan, way. they watch this and then... Well, we couldn't have uh, thought of a better PR plan if we thought of it ourselves. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to get a chance to see it too, probably in a couple of days. And there was a couple in from Hong Kong last Wednesday to go oh. shopping, a young, young, yeah. young couple. Mm -hmm. And uh, the guy came back after the shopping and did a print party. He'd seen the parties going on while they'd been doing their shopping. Right. He said, Can okay, we chat about this and that, this and that, this? And when he heard that I don't have a copy of the documentary and had only seen it once at the film fest, he was like, What? Man, whatever, whatever. So he said, No problem, babe, I'll tone it for you, I'll get it up there. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna send me a torrent file or something of the, of the thing, you know. Nice. So I'm gonna torrent my own, my own video, you know. My own movie. Dun, dun, dun. Get myself arrested. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah I had fun up in Sapporo. It's way yeah, colder there than it is here. Didn't get yeah. chance to talk to you. What did, what did you go? What did you do? I'm sorry. I told oh, you. Oh no, that's okay. Who's... I had done an internship there five years ago. So internship. Yeah, teaching English as a college student before my senior year. I just did three months. Yeah. And did you hear that? Cameron says five years ago as a college student. It gives yeah. you an indication of what this guy, what this kid is up yeah. to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And in Sapporo City, mm -hmm. yeah. So I got to go see a lot of things there that I hadn't seen in a while, and ate at a ramen shop that one of my students took me to five years ago. I said, "This is the best ramen in all of Sapporo," uh -huh. so, and I remember loved it, loving it when I went there five mm -hmm. years ago. But this time, it was still good. But I thought, ah, this you have more the best I've ever had. More <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it was good. So. It was fun. Just wandered around the city. I went on, I think, two or three hour walk at night, just taking pictures and walking around. Just felt good to Have you ever meander. been up here for the Snow Festival? Were you there at the time? No, now? unfortunately. I think it's March, is that right? Usually March or Snow February. Festival. It's, yeah. it's midwinter, isn't it? Sapporo's right. winter, right. winter is long. Okay. I've been up there, and uh, one of my grand, not my my ex-wife's sister's daughters, which makes it to me, what, a niece or something, yeah. I guess. I'm like an uncle. She got married, and uh, I went mm. up there for her marriage. And it was, oh. they, they timed it with the festival, so the oh, guests nice. coming to, to see the wedding. Also get to see the, get to see the festival. festival, yeah. So. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. So it was a day trip, flying up in the morning, yep. seeing the snow festival, seeing the wedding in the afternoon, and then flying back at night. So wow, all on the same yeah. day. Yeah, it's not that far. Enough. No. Yeah, it's an hour and a half flight each way. I'm going to make a little bit of noise, just tap tapping here, not, not a horrible amount of noise. But uh, Also, something I, I, now that I realized you were coming this morning, something's been sitting on my desk for a long time. Uh -oh. Those, do you remember those those packages of knives? That oh, we yes. So, so I thought it might be a chance. So, two okay, we're one, starting at one screen. No. Other, so, <laughs> but I'm going to be banging, which is not a good time to explain no, stuff. So. So. Wait until after you finish banging, um, or is it a big, a long section? Not sure, but do I have a quiet clearing to? I think the quiet clearing is all done. That's cleared. That's cleared. Ha uh ha -huh, ha! Huh. No, this is the seventh and final face. Okay, give me a few minutes. Yes, I'm tapping here. Got some mystery bags for you guys. <laughs> Fingers looking pale. Is it cold in the studio? I don't think. Oh, it feels yeah, nice. I know. I had to keep the door closed because it was really. It was too chilly for me to have the, the front door open. Yeah. And I'll switch to my heavier winter shirt here, but uh, my iron-free. 
Okay, small tapping here, not for, no, just just for a few minutes here. I think. But Mike needs to go somewhere else. I think it's okay oh, that the uh, okay. compressor is working. It was a fun experience last night. You know, I, I did, you know, night shift. Right. Right. During the day, it was close to me, son, and uh, do each other. Right, right. So we had a good day, got lots of work done. Yeah. <clears throat> Come 5 30, those two guys disappeared. They go upstairs to get their back and go home. Right. And upstairs, Ali Amazon was working yesterday on the wood blocks, you know, yeah. putting, gluing up blocks and stuff. And Kawaii was printing the more right. of the Hasui stuff. So, so. whatever. But I'm sitting here doing the software work last night, programming. Mm -hmm. 5 30, 6, 7, 8, comes up 8 30, nearly 9. And the door opens, and in comes from upstairs Aoyama-san, Koizumiko, and Kawaii-san. Huh. And they've been upstairs chatting and having a, like a meeting about stuff, you know. Huh. And they came in, the three of them. I'm like, what are you guys doing up there? You're supposed <laughs> to go home. And they said, we want to talk. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's, it's a cabal. It's the coup. It's the whatever, whatever. So uh, we're some joke. Like, they don't get English jokes so well. Like, yeah. I'm... Are, Am I just, you know, are you going to arrest me now? Or is yeah. it just, where's the gun? You know, is it, is it all yeah. over for me right now? You know, so, oh, they're yeah. chatting and joking. No, it's okay. You got a while left. So, you know. What happened? <laughs> I don't know. They were just talking. And they started laughing. Just, you know, Mokanka no Shodai. Ah. They were chatting about the future of Mokanka yeah. and stuff like that, you know, without me. Got it. So I'm laughing. I'm happy. Actually, I'm glad they're, you know, they're invested and they're thinking. And yeah. Stuff. So I said, why didn't you go up with beer just instead of sitting up there? Yeah. You know? You know, when I yeah. ask them out, so of course I get the tap and we have a meeting. Okay? Yeah. So Ali Yamasan should have had the, you know, just should have got out there. Yeah. Is that today? I you didn't know, see it. We got two okay, or no, three no, minutes. Don't, don't minutes. Time, so. Plotters, yeah. Face you. you know? They said we want to talk. That <laughs> no, they were joking about that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Also, the gas is back. We now have a uh, yeah, the hot shower. I had a hot shower this morning, and uh, no more going down the street. Yeah. And this is nowhere near as efficient as the last one, you know. The really? other one was a clunker, but you turn it on and boom, there's this big kaboom. Yeah. And a second later, I'm scalding, you know, this one yeah. doesn't do that. So. Does it at least get hot, or is it? Well, you know, I had to shower up, okay. but it's super energy efficient and low yeah. this and low that. So you got to crank it up. And, yeah. yeah. But it works. It's fine. Okay. Just happy That's to have a shower right there. You know, so. Yeah. Don't need to walk down the street anymore. Do I normally shave? Yes, I shave. Haven't been like it. His wife is on holiday for yeah. three weeks, so don't you know the background here? Yeah. Cameron's boss is not strict, but his yeah. wife is a different story. No, it's more <laughs> me. I get scratchy and I just get annoyed with it. But I have to find this balance. I mean, don't like doing the shaving, but I don't like having not shaved, so I wait until it's. So, no, <laughs> I didn't like one. shaving, but I gave up on the other part of it. Yeah. So, you know, so. <laughs> I have an easygoing boss as well. So. Yeah. <laughs> but your job is not front facing. There's no yeah. public. Uh, well, yeah. there is, but it's not not officially. You know, it's right. not like you're a rude salesman or something like that. But, no. I hope it's okay. I didn't think I my boss do. would mind if I. I wouldn't notice if anybody else would bring it up. Well, this is part of last night's coup. You're, you're preparing your beard and yeah. they're getting ready. <laughs> 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 Overthrowing the source of all of our products <laughs> that doesn't yeah that's right. like a good idea <laughs> overthrow me and then see how long this place lasts without yeah. any doing youtube videos or whatever yeah. so that's a good joke but it's also a real problem for this you know, indeed weird. how can this place continue for the future without yeah. this guy sitting on top of it yeah all right thinking about it, i would bet that's probably the, the bulk of what they were trying to figure out or talk about yeah now. And it, it's it's more than a joke for someone like Kawaii san he's late 30s you would think about asking a girl you know can we yeah. do this thing together have kids and stuff but how is how secure is his job mm, yeah we're doing really really well sales are growing like crazy people love us 
Yeah. But is that secure for the future? Mm -hmm. Once I'm out of here, I don't know. Should Moka Hong Kong, you know, forget me and try and move on and, and ignore that? Or should Moka Hong Kong use my legacy or whatever it is, you know, yeah. 20 years from now? This is the place where he was. This the is the place David where he Bo. sat, you know, come in and buy one of the souvenir prints. You know, I, I, I don't know what to do. This here. is his haunted carving death. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, well, so, 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 so. The bench sits in a corner, you know. Yeah. I don't know. Occasionally, late at night, you can hear the tapping of a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, these won't, my, won't be my decisions yeah. to make. <laughs> <laughs> Endless YouTube videos replaying on this desk. Yeah. Yeah. Well, by then, the technology, the mannequin, you know. Well, it, 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 just a hologram. <laughs> uh, I mean, they're making those new robots, really. You know? yeah. So there'll be a, a robot like guy sitting here, you know, saying, Good evening, this is Woodbuck, right? Like a David Bow. Yeah. <laughs> You're sitting here in my workbench in a corner. That <laughs> sucks. Right. <laughs> Can you tell it from the original, you know? So. Gotta sell a Dave squeaking gala then. <laughs> Yeah, you, well, you figure where those technologies are Small tight circle, small tight circle. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is? Who is that? No, no, no that's me. It's, it's printing. Yeah, that's the printing. You know. We've got to get those t-shirts. Yeah. We've got to get this. We've got a Mocha Hong Kong baton on the back and on the, on the pocket it says small tight yeah. circle. <laughs> that the Shiba-san will be coming soon because she's on today and I'm hoping she's going to bring at least one with her. One show. And we've seen it now because of the Instagramming. It's true. It exists. It's coming. Speaker for Teddy yet? Uh, I haven't no, invested a whole lot of time in that. No. No, no, I'm sorry. So, so do you mean the rat? <laughs> Is there some way to combine these two memes? Yeah. So, I don't know. My daughter was here, was looking at it. She said she can't make it squeak, but I also believe she's under instructions to take it back to Vancouver. And mm -hmm. her and mom are going to have a go at it, I guess, you know, as they wish. You know. but without wanting to seem, I don't know, I'm being polite about it, but I don't have a lot of time to play with teddy bears. Yeah. yeah. Poor silence, Teddy. Just enjoying the quiet. Yeah. Some quiet. <clears throat> 200 years, it won't be the Meiji era, it will be Dave G era. <laughs> no. That's, that's, not that's not how the era printed. That's not how you would. When do you think they'll announce the new era name? Is it. The well, day they change over? No, I mean, yeah, last, last I read about it, they were still trying to decide. They want to hold it back to the last minute. Right. For cultural, traditional reasons. But the businesses and programmers and calendar makers yeah. and, you know, common Everyone sense needs stuff, to know. They, would, they don't need to know, but they would like to know. Yeah. And normally, there's, there's no way around it. You can't, you know, I mean, they would never have been able to do it before. When an emperor was sick, you yeah. can't prepare for the next one. The culture wouldn't allow yeah. that. But now that everybody knows he's leaving, the general feeling is that you have to look, it's okay to talk about this. Yeah. yeah. But they're still very much traditionalist. And I'm, I'm half and half, you know. Yeah. If I think I, if I was making the call, I'd say, look, just sit on it. We'll, we'll tell you when it's ready. When yeah. he leaves one day, we'll open the new base as a new era. Mm -hmm. Your counters, who cares about your counters? You know, the computer yeah. program is going to get it ready and punch in the two characters and away they go. It can yeah. change overnight, you know. Printing physical calendars, it's not exactly, you know, critical, like mm -hmm. designing ambulance dispatch software or something, you know, whatever. call it Heisei 31. Yeah, well, whatever. Because you know, the first few months of it are still Heisei 31. 
Yeah, so next day we will be at Italy. We will wake up to Heisei 31, you know, yeah. knowing that it won't last that long. Too mm -hmm. bad. Live with it. Yeah. Your mother apparently is not in here today, but Tom says she was in, in the past when you were talking about the mute Teddy mm -hmm. before, and she said, oh, you wouldn't have a voice either if you had been kept in the cupboard for Yeah, but I think it was yesterday before, yeah, oh, okay. I saw that, so it wasn't, I didn't catch yesterday's chat at all, I didn't oh. have it, but, uh, yeah. It's been, yesterday, when Jen was here, I didn't get any, any, any feedback at all. Yeah. But uh, that's not a criticism for her, because at least I've got it, you know, she's happy that I kept that thing, you know, and I did, knowing how she feels about those things. She's quite nostalgic about that kind of stuff, so. I mean, I didn't keep it since I was a kid. She, after we left home, she kept those things herself. Mm -hmm. um, I think my brother had a little mule, I forget what it was, or something. Yeah. And she kept them, and then later on she bequeathed them to us. Here's your original stuffed toy from when you were, you know, six months old and stuff like that. So. Hmm. So, you know, common sense, that's the way she felt about it, so we kept them. So at least I did keep it instead of throwing yeah. it out. You know, so. And that's not a bad deal, considering all I, the moves I've made over, this, over the years through countries and different cities yeah. and, and across the Pacific and whatever. For me to still actually have that thing, as she requested me to, is actually, I think, a big achievement. You know? Yeah. Out, says he likes the new Shiba design because someone shared. Uh, yeah, we, we did. We had it put on Facebook okay. here. So, uh, um, but any word on when she'll make enough? When That's she walks in, we'll ask sure, her. We'll ask her exactly. Yeah. It's coming down the pipe. And, uh, the, the question too is, she has already agreed to hand over to us the blocks for the previous one, the Contented Spirit. Mm -hmm. So that will probably be coming to, to market first because we're going to get the blocks for that one. Yeah. Then this new one, I'm sure she is going to want to make a batch by herself first, yeah. absolutely, which I get. And whether or not she agrees to hand us over those blocks fairly soon, or whether she wants to keep them, you know, like until the next one's ready or something. I, I don't know. Yeah. She doesn't want to just totally give up and do it like Jed, become a designer and then have us make everything. She right. really wants to keep her hand in, because the cutting and printing is an important part of the, of the design process for yeah. her, you know. She doesn't design it as a watercolor print for a watercolor picture first and then cut it. She designs it as she's chopping and carving. Yeah. So it's important for her to keep her hand in at the at the cutting and printing business. Mm -hmm. She definitely doesn't want to be quote just a designer. I mean, I don't mean that as an insult as yet, but that's a, as as a as a description. You know, she wants to be an active printmaker designer. Yeah. So that's probably what will happen. She will make a bunch herself, and then when the next one starts to cook in her mind and gets you ready for coming up, then maybe she'll give us those blocks. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna throw those envelopes out or something. Oh, okay. oh yeah, that's right. We have. This is stuff I bid on on auctions, and it turns out to be really not so useful for us. There was some, there was some old tools came up. Uh, not old tools, as in as in you know, ethos using the tools. Whatever. Really. Just uh, somebody as a hobbyist, I think, got some of these tools, and really quite nice. They're around what time? Can I post one? Maybe 1950s, 1960s. Oh. And they are rusty. They've been in a drawer a while. <coughs> for a while. For a while. Yeah. They, are, they need whoever has, a, whoever owns a gallon of WD-40 or whatever, you know. Yeah. These are rusty. But they're sound. They're yeah. Japanese steel. And what they are is they're, they're the traditional style tools, not the 20th century Sosaka hunger tools. They're the traditional shape and style, what they call Futatsuwari, where the, can I, can I have yeah, them? I'm not sure if it'll, they're so rusty, I'm not sure it'll open. They're the traditional style, maybe the handle will open on the pin. And these have been around for a day or two. Look at this, this one's even warped at the top. Oh, it'll open. Hi, 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 hi. Here we go. So these, am I on camera? I can't tell. Yeah. 
You could probably zoom in a little bit, but yeah. at least this is the deal. The, the, the handle is cut. And I can see this has been moved up. See the two dots at the bottom there? One dot, two dot. Yeah. So the, we would have started here. I uh, know we started back there. And as the tool was sharpened and made shorter, he had to move it up there. Eventually, as you sharpen and sharpen and sharpen, this thing moves up and up and up and up and up and up and up until you get to the end of it. Mm. This is the, the style of these. And this is all hand chopped. This is in near where they're not making these things by machine. You know, so. But they're rusty, they're rusty, they're rusty. The steel is good, the steel is sound, but it's going to need a, Polishing a ton of work to get them ready. you got to take them all apart, put the steel in a bath or something, get the rust off, and, and then sharpen them. And these are oxidized to the, the sheet. Yeah, the, the, the brass, brass thing, of course. Yeah. That's easy to fix. That's easy to polish. And what's, what are the styles? These are, there's no cutting knife yeah. here. Is there We've got two groups. Five so eye gouges the same and group. three so, ice keys. I'm trying to sort this out. You know. This is, these are the U gouges. They go down from 6 to 4.5. To three, two point five, and a little little cute one at one point five. Wow. Then there's three bullnose chisels, one at six, one at two, and another two that's been beveled at the top, so it gives just about one. And the three's been beveled down to give about a two. Huh. And the other package has, I think, the same mix, right? It is. Well, it's the same mix. It's really it's similar. Better. 6, 4.53, 3.5, 1 1.51. It's got six of those things instead of five of these. And, and then two of the ice cube, four and a two. So. Yeah. Similar sets. What are you going to do? You take some go. pictures and, yeah, and I think put them somewhere on and share them or something? Yeah. Yeah. They have been well, well, well used. Really well used. Yeah. But they're there. The steel is there. And they're not a style we use. You know, I never use these round. Chisels. You gotcha. You gotcha. We don't use those in the traditional field. Hmm. Yeah. We use these, and this is just basically a replica of what I'm using. Where, where's mine? Here, here's mine. Don't mix them up. <laughs> uh, I think it's kind of clear. It's, yeah, in fact, it it's exactly, it's the same tool exactly as, as the one I've been using all these years. Ice key six millimeter. Mine's worn off over the years. It's the same ferrule. It's my tool exactly. I sharpened mine at a bit of a flatter angle than this. So these are the real thing. These are the real deal. But there's no cutting knife. There's right. no, uh, no cutting knife. So if you already have one of those, this is the set for you. Mm -hmm. But they're so rusty. They're, they're really not worth yeah. anything in terms of actual you know, value. So. Call now and for only three easy payments of ninety nine ninety nine. <laughs> I'll ship them to you one at a time. Description. <laughs> Just kidding. each bit of block during your next blade. <laughs> so mm -hmm. Make sure you, the customers, they make sure they're using it and then if we see them using it, a little bit of block, we'll send them the next blade so they can cut a little bit more. They were saying, that was their suggestion, make it a subscription. And they have better time. On there. Yeah. What is this one? I know it's not a blade. Top no, it's, it, but... no, it's a scoop for pigment, getting pigment out of the. Uh, okay. I mentally compare every time I yeah. walk by. It's like, is it? Oh, Nathan! No glasses this morning. Contact day today. Yeah.
Come say hello here. Do they remember who you are? You yes, I did. <laughs> I figured that that's new for some people. It's already been about a little while. So Audrey's off today, right? You tell it's you and uh, Shiba-san and you and Kubo-san. Oh, okay, good. Come in. So that's a new combination, is it? Um, I think Maybe. so, yeah. Join us today. Yeah. And we got reservations, 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 this one. So the full day of print parties, I think it's 4242, four, two, something like something that. Like that. Yeah. There's another package from Kanai. Yes, yeah, she just keeps going. She is the machine wow. from, from the river. I'm just so happy. Yeah. Just so happy. Wow. That's uh, that's one of the portraits, man. You asked. Oh, you know, that's right. Yes. They sent you a message being out of portraits, and here they are already. Bang. Wow. And this morning, I've got to get her paper done today, right? That paper hanging up you found yesterday, and yeah. uh, I've got to do that today. I yeah, think. yeah. That is about six jobs that have to be done today or else. Or else. I've never seen Ray come in before the shoe lady. Are you sure she isn't leading a double life? I don't. I think Sue Lady must have come an hour ago, because if she came, if she came at all, yeah. That's not the right. Uh, it couldn't possibly be the Sue Lady. Ray really is uh, yeah. gentle and uh, quiet. That Sue Lady uh, is uh, stern. Yes, exactly. That's the word stern. She walks with purpose. Is there a school near here? I don't know if there is, but not in that direction. So, <laughs> not quite sure where she's going. <laughs> no glasses on one, new haircut on the other, and Dave suddenly has an entirely new morning team. It was after the coup last night, you yeah. asshole. <laughs> yeah, overthrowing the US government. Ah. Zoom in a little bit. Hmm? Oh, so, so Without the scope, it's dangerous. Now, if I move around a little bit, I'm out of the field. Yeah, so I just tell you not to go too close, but at least close to the mirror. So, how are things going, Rachel? All clean? All okay? Yep. School work and stuff? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Being a little private today, are we? <laughs> Got a lot to say. Oh, still curious about your school, though. You said you, you go to school, but you don't go to school. It's yeah. complicated. It's complicated, yeah. Yeah. It's hard to explain. Yeah. I, really, or I heard a little bit about this kind of school, though. It sounds like it's becoming more popular among Japanese mm -hmm. youth. So, uh, to not go to school? Yeah. yeah. But to still do education, but not attend a normal, a regular school. Was well, that day. some connection with the, uh, the Hikikomori thing that was, that was, that was mm -hmm. slash is okay. so big? No. Yeah. <laughs> that's not your case, I mean, obviously. No, stereotype, no. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's how most people think nowadays, but it's changing. So. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure what you mean. You know? So most of people think that um, people who go to those kind of school is hikikomori uh, and super, all super. that, but it's changing. Uh, 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 uh. But that's that's not the concept, right? It's, it's not related, is it? Or was this kind of school developed for that originally? No, I'm not sure. Mm. But, yeah. It's not only for people who don't want to go. It's social people, outcasts. Yeah. 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 People who want to so do good. things in an unconventional way, it sounds like. Yeah, is that a bit of blowback for you then? When you tell people about your school and stuff, do they assume automatically that you're a person who had trouble with a normal school? Really? So yeah. you just don't really say yes. Yeah. So good, so good. Sorry about that. I, was, I wasn't trying to push in that direction. I'm just were legitimately curious about your kind of stuff because it's so interesting. Yeah, so sorry about that. We, we here understand you and know who you are. You couldn't possibly be that kind of person. Yeah. So. Okay. Very friendly, outgoing person. So. Classroom is so inefficient, according to 
three even mm. or is it mm. seven? I'm with that, absolutely. Yeah. But the purpose in school isn't efficiency in the factory sense. Uh, well, maybe at some point it was, I don't know. But I mean, when, when schools were institutions to train factory workers back mm -hmm. in the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, it made sense. But, but that's not where we're at now, so yeah. of course. Yeah. But when you get to your next stage of your education, are you going to college and with the medical goal? Mm -hmm. That's going to be very much classrooms, isn't it? You know, yeah. classrooms and stuff. So are you ready to handle that after all these years of being free? You know, when it comes time yeah, to go back I, to a. Um, in my opinion, that's better for me because right now I I am the one who has to take care of all the studying, and I don't have any homework or anything, so I have to make sure that I'm studying. But if you go to school, there's a guidance, like they teach you, there's a homework and all that. There's a structure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, in my opinion, it gets easier, but on the other hand, people say that you still have to work on your own mm -hmm. when you go to medical school. Oh, yeah. So I think that this is like a good exp um, experience mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. me so that I get to okay. get know you. myself. But when you do go back to a more structured kind of institution, will it be a sort of a culture shock, whatever? Oh my God, I've got to be there at 8.30 every morning or something. Mm -hmm. well, my own prejudice would be very much against that. I don't want to go there and sit there at 8.30 every morning, but you, you're okay with this. Mm -hmm. yeah. She comes to work on the schedule. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is, yeah. is <laughs> Mokahanka is good training for that, is it? Yeah. We're the one thing that's keeping you on this, on this straight and narrow. Yeah. You look forward to coming here, don't you? So, I think so. We look forward to having you. Yeah. So, and good fun all around. Yeah. How much longer do you have here before you do go back to school and stuff? What, what is your schedule? I don't, I don't really know. Well, I'm, I'm going playing. to take a gap year. So, I don't know how long I'm going to work here. <laughs> Yeah, I still have like three or two years in okay. the time. So what I'm saying, this is now the autumn of 2018, so you've got about another year with us, or...? or you I'm not sure, yeah. 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 What are we going to do when she leaves? I don't know. Oh God. Just close the place down? Just close the place down. That's really the only option. <laughs> uh -huh. See, oh, what print is this? This is the this year's new gift print called. Hmm. What are you calling this one? I, know, I put it in the catalog as the fisherman just to yeah. put it, but it seems there's confusion there with yeah. other stuff. Because so there is another print also known as the fisherman. Not in our so catalog. I'm open to suggestions. Yeah. If we're going to change fisherman. it, we're going to change it. And also, I've got to get a story ready for us. Yeah. And I think test printing will be on tomorrow's stream, I think, because I don't, given all the stuff on my schedule today, I can't see doing that today. Yeah. And I need a stream for tomorrow, so I, did, I may be upstairs tomorrow stream giving a slap at this. So. Cool. <coughs> Unless something else comes up as it as it uh, is wise to do. Yeah. Want to do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Americans playing yeah. with expressions like that. Yeah. You've shown your true colors. You're not really American. Yeah. Is that not an American expression? I don't know. To me, that's about as British as they come. Uh, okay. uh, Shakespeare and whatever. Yeah. As is his vault. Yeah. <laughs> I just can't see Americans. My God. It's a good expression. Okay. Does Rachel understand? Yeah, that, my kids wouldn't understand. That. W O N T. As is his vault. Yeah. Will not want? No, it's. Uh, I don't no, know how it's going to Likely his habit, almost. Yeah, right? as is his habit, his custom. Yeah. Right? Um, I don't know the derivation you know. It's, to me, it's, it sounds 100% like something from a Shakespeare speech, but I don't yeah. know. My cultural knowledge doesn't go that far. Hmm. And where did the design come from? Oh, people are already answering it. Okay, made by Harada san, the former owner of Dave's current carving bench, found in a tiny sketchbook type thing. This one right here. It's very tiny. It's tiny. It's like now. Oh, that reminds me, we got some, uh, Doi san yesterday brought some information on Harada san. Oh, it's, yeah, it's next to Good, good, hold on. 
So it's actually it's funny. So I found in some database, and this is not online, this is just, he just found some pictures. Huh. Another has who looks like the Carter San we know the son. Yeah, he does. And Gerson didn't understand what it was. It was just a, a, a magazine article. And it talks about there's English captions. There's English captions, but let me read one of these captions. There's a picture of Harada-san. Yep, oh, he's right in the middle. Pictures. And the caption is, since his conversion, Harada has produced finer works than before. Uh-huh. And then another one here, him surrounded by a group. And before conversion, he never felt happy. But now he fully oh, enjoys it. Right, so like, and Doisan hadn't understood what this is. Obviously, what this is, it's a, one of the religious magazines. I was thinking yeah. Sokodaka. This smells like SGI, I don't know, Sokodaka yeah. International. And it's not, it's a no. Yeah. It's Nichiren Shoshu Buddhism. Okay. Go it's one of those. I've received pamphlets at yep. the train station yep. before. Yep. <laughs> so he got sucked into one of these, well, or, or I should keep my own yeah. uh, prejudices out of this. He joined. Uh, one of these, they and they're a lay Buddhist organization. Yeah. So, so, so. Huh. And it was something that I, um, <clears throat> he was repeatedly visited by various mishaps during those years. The most serious one happened in 1960. He was told by a doctor he would become blind with little chance of recovery. Then he came to accept the Gohozom of Nichiren Shoshu Buddhism. He was as desperate as a drowning man trying to catch at a straw, straw yeah, in a yeah. deep river. He recollects, strangely enough, I regained my vision in 15 days after my conversion. Harada had become more perfect as an artist. Cameron, you're in wow. the wrong group, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, I should be happy. Yeah. Well, I myself am very cynical about these point of views. But if the guy found some happiness and did, did his life well, it's okay. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, the other thing, the picture here, this is Harada and Ito. Oh, whatever. These guys both died when I was a child. I, I know nothing. But those double-sized Oban prints we got the other day, mm -hmm. I know Ito-san was the carver on them. Really? This is the same wow. Ito-san. Uh, no, I said Ito-san was the printer, printer, printer. Oh, okay. Sorry, my mouth said the wrong thing. It's carver printer combination. So. Okay, so it's not Ito. It's no, 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 no. It's a common last it's name. It's a very it's common last name. I just wasn't sure if this is the same one. And he works for uh, Kyoto Hangain. So these would have been pictures taken at the workshop of Kyoto Hangain here in oh, Tokyo. Okay. And they're doing a Tokaido reproduction. Ah, okay. And Iso San printing. So not post pictures for the for the for the magazine. You know. And it would this will be one of the monthly magazines put up to all the Buddhist organizations, all the religious organizations have them. Yeah. Sorry if the pictures were upside down. Turn your computer off. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I was, I was selfish, only thinking of myself. So yeah. So it's curious, son, his son, who we know, who comes and chats with us, never mentioned anything about this sort of stuff. Yeah. And whether his son is also a member of this religious group, I don't know. Yeah. And now that we've got this magazine next day, he comes around, we'll ask him yeah. in a gentle, uh, careful way, because he may be a, a devotee of this, I don't yeah. know. There's a lot, there's a, a number of these, what they call, they're called lay Buddhist organizations. Mm. People join them. Yeah. They're not becoming priests, but they're whatever, they're joining a, a religious group. Yeah. Some of them are vast, vast. You know, they have a, a huge chunk of the population. Yeah. And there, some of them are, honestly speaking, quasi-cults. Uh, they're, they're the big one, the, the Sokogar guy, is a leadership cult. Uh, yeah. The guy actually has probably died, but they're keeping him cryogenically frozen because nobody's seen him for years now. And Ikeda uh, Daisuke. And uh, whatever, I just keep quiet. I guess we're, uh, one this of our is printers is uh, strongly into uh, what he's yeah. calling. Oh, so good, so good, so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. The miniature version of it. Um, and it won't look exactly like this because these are brush strokes and this is just going to be a woodblock print, but this is the image it's based on. We might have another person joining our stream. Oh, it's, it's getting crowded in this little camera. Yeah. That must mean we're getting close to my time, is it? I'm not good at it. 26. 26. Good morning. Good morning. Have you worked with the day before? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. I never remember who's oh. met who. I don't know. No, I'm not doubting David's skill. 
with black prints and brush strokes just no, no, look so different. I, was, I described yeah. it earlier when, I, when we were talking about this block. Why are yeah. we carving part of this off and part of this on? I was explaining it. You know, this is going to be a block that covers part of the green to give an imitation of sort of gradations yeah. and things like that. Yeah. Now, I wasn't even sure myself which areas to leave on and which areas to leave off. I have a, I made a, you know, a rough photograph of things. So, and there is a base green block, and this is one of the higher green blocks. This has the, not hard, this has the light lilac. So, for example, you see lilac, there's a darker lilac tone and a lot of gradations, but I've split the lilac into two groups. So you can see it pretty much. There's a darker lilac thing and then a bunch of lighter lilacs. This is darker lilac, then lighter, darker and lighter. So I've split the lilac mm. for convenience into two blocks. Mm. And then the darker lilac will be used. I'm gonna run it underneath here. Now he didn't do that. He didn't draw lilac on this green thing. He used darker green pigment yeah. on top of a lighter green. But it was probably just single brush strokes, but they'd be conclusions. So for me I'm gonna do a base green block. Mm. In some places I'll use the darker lilac over top of the green. In some places, I'll use the lighter lilac on top of the green. And that'll give me basically a three-tone green. Yeah. And they're not all going to be around. Like, for example, for this one, I've cut the lilac block so that it's at the bottom of this leaf mm. here, but not at the top of the leaf. And as I yeah. showed you earlier, I put my knife in at a real sh shallow angle so that hopefully the, the lilac will fade out a little bit yeah. along the edge here rather than leave a sharp line. in the of the leaf. Yeah, So, so. Itabukashi carved gradations. So we will have a you know a color breakdown that looks mm. similar to this, but it will be clean and sharp. It's a wood yeah. block, right? And then for the red flowers, I've just carved a single block. Now here we have darker and lighter because it was very blob blobby on. And what we might do, depending on how much time we have in printing, I'll print this thing first. It, remember, it'll be a single flat color. Yeah. And then I might take the printing brush and just go like this to put random pigment at some places on those red things and others so it won't huh. look quite so simplistic. We'll play with this. We'll be playing with this tomorrow. This one too. Print it first flat in a light pink and then just flick, flick some random pigments on top. Yeah. We'll see. That'll, that's what we'll do. Oh, cool. I think though, I think we'd better all get to work. Wrap we've up. got a shop to run. We've got tons of print parties today. <laughs> We're going to have a good, good fun. Last Wednesday was the single biggest day in the history of the company. This Wednesday, come on, guys, get get ready, break the record. No sooner do you reach one quarter than the boss is going to ramp it up. <laughs> no, no. We don't do it that way, but whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay. Camera sense, sign us off, please. All right. We will see you tomorrow. Bye. This camera's off. And now, anything you want to add before we go? Okay. See you later.